In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this episode of Catechism for Catholic Fathers. Today we are going to be looking at number 22. It reads like this. At the end of each thematic unit, a series of brief texts sum up the essentials of that unit's teaching in condensed formulae. These, in brief summaries, may suggest to local catechists brief summary formulae that could be memorized. So here, this point 22 tells us just a technical um, information that after every unit that we will be covering it during the catechism, there will be an in brief writing, something small, something easy to remember. I would like to concentrate on this word memorized. The church wants us to memorize things in little formulas, easy to remember. I remember growing up, I had a hard time accepting and being obedient. I was a child at the time when I was told to help my sister to study for her tests. The reason is, or the reason was, because I have always wanted to know the why of things to understand things to the best of my abilities. So I wanted to learn things. But when I was told to help my sister, she had a paper with the questions and answers that she prepared beforehand to help her study for the test. Then on the way from home to the school while my mother was driving, I was to ask my sister questions and she will give me the answer and I will confirm whether the answer was the right one or not in the practice paper that she had prepared. And not only, you know, out of the great amount of selfishness, I didn't want to spend the time helping my sister, but also I thought it was wrong because she was only memorizing the thing. If I were to ask her a question a little off script, she would have no clue at the time. So I thought, this is useless, this is wrong. There is a term in Spanish, embotellar, which means to put in a bottle. For me, she was just putting answers in a bottle so that she could go and dump the bottle at the test and get a grade without ever learning anything. Whether I misjudge my sister or not, may the Lord have mercy on both of us, there is such a thing as a distortion of memorization. However, there is the true and good and holy way of dealing with memorization. And that is the one that Holy Mother Church wants us to use. I also remember when I was seven years old, I went to catechism for the first time. Since my birthday is in August, I, um, I started catechism when I was seven and I made my first communion when I was seven on May, 10 months later. And catechism there and then was simply memorizing from a little booklet the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, the Apostles' Creed, the Sacraments, the Commandments, the Act of Contrition, the Hail Holy Queen. That was it. I spent 10 months memorizing prayers. But let me tell you, 
those prayers have done a great deal of good in my life, in my spiritual life. Later on, when I started to learn about the most blessed trinity and how each person of the blessed trinity is exactly equal to each other, except in their relationships, the relationship between the different persons of the trinity, things like, and I believe in the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son that I memorize in the Nicene Creed, started to make so much sense. So there is, there is a need to memorize. And um, St. Paul talks about when you have babies, you give them soft food. Once the person is mature, then you give stronger food. Same thing in the faith. I was wrong when I was um, underestimating, not appreciating the wisdom of memorizing. Because I memorized all those prayers, now I have something to go back to, now I have something to build upon. Every time I'm studying the catechism, reading the Holy Bible, reading Holy books, everything makes sense because I have a base, the base of memorizing our faith by memorizing the creed and the essential prayers. Do not neglect teaching your children those prayers according to their age. If they are seven year old, help them to memorize it just like a poem. It's all right. Once they memorize it and it's in their memory, it will stay forever. And then you can build upon, you can expand. You can give them stronger food. And in the, however unlikely, but possible situation that perhaps you haven't memorized the, the Apostle Creed or the Nicene Creed, well, that will be a good time to get to work on it. Because, well, the essential principle of teaching, nobody can teach that which he doesn't know so in order for you to be better prepared to teach your children start by memorizing the prayers and the creed both the apostle creed and the nicene creed if you haven't already and if you have re recite them even outside of mass when you go in front of the blessed sacrament uh, to talk to god and you might run out of words at the beginning, I don't know, and, and, and talk to God about what you know about him, what you learn in the creed. It can be a good start of a conversation with him. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom of Holy Mother Church, teaching us like a good mother, like an awesome teacher all the way. May God bless you, all the watchers of this video and your families. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.